All right, welcome back to Ken and Abiba, and this is Boxing Day. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. Happy New Year. I know you're thinking Christmas content. Haven't we gone past Christmas? Yes, but I have a few special video clips I wanted to share. So I feel like some homemade cookies. And I know you see me baking a lot and doing a lot of cooking, but honestly, most of the things or the sweets that you see I make, I actually don't eat it myself. It's usually for family, for the children, right? But um, today I feel like some cookies of my own, but they need to be gluten-free. So I'm using coconut flour mostly, and butter, and sugar, and vanilla, you know, basics. I'm gonna make some quick gluten-free cookies, butter cookies. And then, you know, I still have that cake that I showed you previously that I haven't decorated. So we're going to decorate that today. And as you know, it is the Caribbean rum cake, the traditional rum cake. I just put it in a bunt cake shape. So not traditional looking, but it is the Caribbean fruit cake, the very traditional Caribbean fruit cake. There's the bunt cake that I used or the mold that I use real nice basic and I just butter it really well to make sure the cake doesn't stick or the cake batter doesn't stick. I'm also going to need to make some icing because you know again this is not a traditional way to decorate this cake but I was kind of in that experimental mood. Um, I wanted to see what I could do with the uh, icing and I think it'll come out pretty. You tell me what you think at the end. I'm adding a little bit of rum my cookies are done, and if you're not familiar with gluten-free flour, it may look a little pale to you, but because it's mostly corn flour and rice flour, it tends to look a lot paler than using wheat flour, but it's definitely done, as you can see. Okay, so I got my icing. It's looking a little runny. I might need to thicken it up a little bit with some confectioner sugar. And again, I am making this because I want to see if I can get this cake to look magazine worthy, pretty. But of course, I am not recommending a diet with so much sugar, right? We all know sugar is bad for us, right? Nobody's trying to get diabetes or worsen your diabetes if you already have it. I get that. But again, this is just for some creativity. I want to make something pretty. <laughs> will it look nice when I'm done or will this look like a hot mess? I don't know. You be the judge. You tell me. Eh, it's a little runny, but we're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. Anyway, so we have some rosemary. Yes, this is rosemary that is used to cook lamb or whatever you feel like cooking. And I also have some cranberries and they are so beautiful. And then I also have some apricot preserves. So I'm brushing on some of the apricot jam or apricot jelly. If you're American, you say jelly. If you're British, you say jam um, or preserves. I'm brushing it on the rosemary because I'm going to use this as decoration on the cake. And I want the sugar granules that I'm going to sprinkle on to stick to the rosemary. So just a little trick. And of course, I could have used like plastic or inedible objects to decorate the cake, but that would be kind of unsafe, right? So that's why I'm using edible things. And we're not necessarily going to eat the cranberries or rosemary just for decoration. But in the event that somebody did eat it, it wouldn't be harmful. Oh, that's me, right? <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Abiba and Kenton. And, Kenton uh, and Habiba. All right. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. And this is Boxing Day. <laughs> Welcome back. So on today's episode, we will be doing Boxing Day, as Kenton said. What's Boxing Day, boo-boo? It's the day after Christmas, and it's usually recognized in England or yeah. United Kingdom. 
Right. So do you like our outfits? Let's show them the outfits of the day. Kenton's modeling the uh, buffalo print. <laughs> yes, yes. We didn't do family pictures or any Christmas cards, so this is it. This is it. And then I'm wearing some plaid. So his is called buffalo print and mine is in plaid. You can't see my feet, but this is it. <laughs> and um, these outfits or these pajamas came from Target. I was telling my mom it's a thing here. Target. Target. Pronounced Target. I was telling my mom it's a thing that, uh, you know, families buy pajamas. If you can do the whole family, that's great. They make for great pictures. She doesn't understand that or she was like, nah, she will not be wearing pajamas. So she's not here and she's not wearing pajamas. So, hey, Nana. <laughs> but we did or Kenton did drop off her uh, Christmas presents. If you watched the last vlog, which was the Christmas vlog, you would have seen all the presents that Bashir got us. And he got us a ton of presents. The kids, everyone had presents. So in this vlog, it's really more presents that we gave each other. See, we got one of these from Uncle Bashir. I didn't try it on. It would be really hot if I tried it on, but it's like a cross between a blanket and a um, hoodie. Oh, Kenton's about to put his on. Backwards. Uh, backwards. <laughs> Show them how yeah, you got it on backwards. <laughs> See, this is, this is what, you, what happens when you have too much eggnog with a little bit of rum, spice <laughs> rum. You put out the hoodie on backwards. Backwards, Kenton. But it'll keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Thank God we didn't have the power out, but if we had had the power out, this would have come in handy. Ooh, boo, it's got pockets. It's got pockets. <laughs> oh Lord. It's not the cutest looking thing, but I bet it's very comfortable, right? It's really soft. Yeah, really soft and thick. So the kids were patiently waiting as Kenton and I were doing our foolishness. Anyway, Khalid goes back to Maryland tomorrow morning, so he really wanted us to open the presents. So they're just taking them out from under the tree, and um, this is something we just do every year, traditionally. Um, we don't do too much, but the kids like to give presents, and we like to give them presents, even though, honestly, this year, I didn't know what to give them. So we decided on pretty much just sending them money. So we did money plus what you see here. Yeah, what's that? You got a lot of books, Miriam. It's crazy how I know my sister so well. Right. You should. That's, uh, that's good. Yeah. I'm saying that because I, I, I asked her. Sarcastic. What's that? Yeah. Uh, nice. Very nice art. You ever did that? It's me. Did you? Did yeah. you look through? I really did. Did you wrap it? Yeah, I wrapped it too. Oh, my wallet's in my back pocket. Oh my no. god, what could it be? It must be, it's for my titties. <laughs> Well, because your real gift, I thought, would, would mean, you know, not from me and your dad would be the money, not, you know. So that's why I was just like, I don't know what to give Maria. <laughs> Oh wow. oh wow, amazing. It's a script book. So oh really? The, the, the yes. Wow, thank you, sir. Mm. I feel truly blessed. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas for you. <laughs> oh, good night, dear sirs. <laughs> Mr. Rogers. A phone case? Oh, a, phone. a phone? Samsung? Oh. Or no? It's a wallet. <laughs> what are you, what are you all high shaking? What is that? Yeah, what is man. that? What is that? So it turns out it is a phone. He got his brother a phone, which I thought was really nice. Because this phone doesn't have smooth it, green like there's tech reviews. Yeah, do it all. Exactly. We want some, what do you no, call it? Five? ASMR? ASMR. No, 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 no. Yeah. Great. It's my great. favorite great. shade of black. Oh, it can match with you. No, no way. Oh, that's good. Oh, 
the bag. What? I always wanted a bag. So he gets his customer a yearly t shirt, right? right? Look at this one. Born to argue. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> This is from Karini. Who got him a t-shirt? This one. So this cream. That's nice. Cobra Kai. Look at that. Yeah. You know I was watching the Netflix series, right? An original. Mm -hmm. Thanks, nice. I was like Kareem. <laughs> I was cool. like Kareem. Thank you, buddy. Are they all extra, extra large? <laughs> yeah. Check the sizes over there. I was gonna go extra large, but... Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah you got it. This is yeah. a size up. So it would have been extra large. It would be extra large, yeah, yeah without the limit. I, I appreciate the explanation. Thank you. Right. You seem confused as to why I was... No, I'm not confused. I don't know. All right, I'll Go get ahead. one name. Back shoulder neck massager with heat. Interesting. That's nice. Who did this? Mine. Did you not see the name of it? No, I didn't. It I just yeah. opened it without yeah. even seeing. Because sure. I was like, I it just better not be Kenton no. spending no. money on this no. sort of stuff. No. From Khalid. Okay, Khalid. From yeah, Khalid. Yeah, Thank you. I noticed that every time I come over you, your neck's like my neck is always yeah well you know what it is i need to get a new pillow and um a thing from behind my back because my back curves in and when i sit in certain chairs yeah. ugh, or editing you know hunched over so yeah appreciate it son yeah, so when you're standing or sitting down you can just put it on you and then it just okay we'll try it then this is from all the chitlins thank you chitlins Hey, a box. Look at that. <laughs> Your favorite black on black. That's black right. on black. Extra wide. Very wide, actually. Not extra wide. Yeah, Inside that extra wide. wide. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I have now walking shoes, huh? Yeah. All right, so I should try it out in the morning. Try to walk in the morning. Yeah. All right, this says to Habiba from Kenton. Oh, oh my God. You didn't even know what I know what it's, I know what it is as soon as I, because I see the brand, unless you repacked it in another box. Yeah, I see the brand. Don't the brand. You don't recognize this? Those little mouse ups that I have, those little mice that I have, Khalid Kareem, those mice, that's what this brand is. Unless again you reuse the box. Uh oh. Maybe he just reused the box. Uh oh. Uh oh. Maybe it's not the toys. Uh oh. Ta da! Let's see what's in my toy box. I was thinking like that. No idea. Oh, okay. It's a bunch of stuff. Number one, I have this perfume, boo. This is the Versace, Versace, Versace Bright Crystal. But your dad has a habit of doing that. <laughs> he'll buy We Want Perfume and then he'll go back and buy the same thing again. You should like it. And yeah, this is the exact same one I have. No, it's almost out. I know, I'm almost out-ish. Um, yeah, Mariam, you've seen this. It's fine. It's I like it, but it's the same thing. Yeah. See? <laughs> right? <laughs> See, you're looking at him like, why, Daddy? Why'd you do that? <laughs> right. But I like it, honey. It's fine. It's fine. I like it. All right. Cool. But, you know, I thought you didn't have to get me anything. We weren't doing presents. Okay. Well, here's something different. I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, good girl, it says. Carolina Herrera. 
I used to wear Carolina Herrera when we were younger. Actually, yeah. when we got married, I used yeah. to wear Carolina Herrera. So I haven't had this in a while. So that's nice, but I don't know actually the scent. That's cool. If only I could wear heels like that. Right, and so, yeah, like I said, it sprays right here. Right there, you press it. I'm not gonna press it again, because I've already sprayed myself. Yeah. What? You know, that's so funny. Yeah. Is that, weren't you with me when I went and yeah. bought these? Feels great. <laughs> I went and bought these, I was with you. And he got me studs as well. Pretty, because I got so many holes in my ear. One, two, three on this ear. Only on one ear and one on the other one. So nice, these will come in handy, honey. All righty. Now what's this one? Yeah, we always love jewelry. Okay, this is different. So yeah, I don't I usually wear anything when you in went down to Florida if you wear white. Then you right, I guess, yeah, it's a summary. Yeah. Overall, Kenton did really well, but I know it's difficult to get someone like me a gift, especially when you've been married for almost, well, actually 30 years now. All right, your turn, boo boo. Is that upside down? Look, I think it might be upside down. Yeah, it's the one. That's what I remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> T-shirts. T-shirts. You always need white T-shirts, so I bring practical stuff. What's this? Oh, never tuck. It's one of those never tuck shorts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought it was about to be uh, extra large. That's why. Awesome. It might be too big, then. Might be too big. Everything you're wearing is, yeah, is 2XL. This t shirt is, too. Yeah, but the. the oh, the t shirt it might be? Yeah. But mm. well, that's fine. See, this is to mother from Kareem. Oh, wow. From Kareem. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got a t-shirt. Okay. Let's see. You're seeing it before I see it. Oh, okay. So is this is this, is this a Wakanda type pattern or something? It looks like something Wakanda-ish. Yeah, Black Panther. Black mm -hmm. Panther, yeah. Okay. The powder blue is a little kind of different, right? So anyway, thanks, Kareem. <laughs> Thank you, honey. This first and his second. Look at that. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Right. For your, you know, about to graduate law school, you got mm -hmm. looking executive. And I hope they're wide, so. Yeah, yes, it's wide. Wide fit. It's the right size, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks, honey. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah, it's it fits fine. No, it fits fine. Yeah. Thank you. Now that everyone's opened their gifts, let's see what Uncle Bashir is doing back in New York. Just had to share this wonderful winter wonderland. Look at this just like that. So Bashir has put out some bird feeders as you can see and he has a red cardinal and a number of birds visiting on the left screen and on the right screen you can see he also has some owl. So he can see a lot of nature in the middle of the winter. Deer, birds, foxes, all in New York. Mr. B, is this from you and Tracy? Me. Okay. And Tracy? Yeah, but I'll tell you the story after. You're a funny guy. All right, I'm opening it, B. It's wrapped nicely. Oh, what is it? B, 
see what the hell is this? B, what is this, B? B. Yeah. What? B, what did you do? B, are you serious? B! B! B, you got me a PlayStation? What? This guy's crazy. Oh my God. B, you got me a PlayStation? That's a dog. Oh my oh. god. Oh wow. I I don't I don't I don't I don't believe it. I don't you you bought me a PlayStation B? What the f as you know, Bashir, my brother is very generous, but he's also very appreciative of his friends and the gift from his friend. Anyway, I did not actually finish with this cake. So let me go ahead and do what I gotta do, and I'll just be quiet and let you watch. Remember those cookies I made earlier? I just have to put them away. Best way to put away any baked goods really is in a cake tin. That way they stay nice and fresh and keep the flavor and it's airtight. So I'm in the dining room or formal dining room area and I have a few decorations in here, not too much, but I also have a skinny tree in here that I haven't decorated. Not this one that's on the, um, I guess, cabinet, but I have another tree I'll show you. And over here is some popcorn. That was a big bowl of popcorn, but Miriam finished it. It's for a project. I wanted to make some homemade kind of vintage looking decoration for the tree in the formal dining room. Like, you know, nothing shiny, all natural in contrast to the uh, tree that I have in the family room, which is all shiny and blingy. So let's see how this goes. So here's the tree, very simple, plain tree. And I've already, uh, what do you call it, frosted it or flocked it. I did this a couple of years ago, so it looks like real snow to me. And I also added some large pine cones. Yeah, large pine cones to the tree. So yes, you can see this is a skinny tree, unlike me. <laughs> I've always wanted to make a garland with orange slices. And so I thinly slice some um, oranges, basically just really thin slices of oranges baked for several hours. And some of them got a little bit burnt, but uh, for the most part, I got some really good slices. And now I am threading it, and that is like a weaving thread and a weaving curved needle, but it works. Use what you have. And it was really simple. I just sort of 
tied the thread through the hole in the orange slice and then I would leave a little bit of a space and then attach another slice and then you just keep going and you can make ornaments you can make a garland you can make a wreath you can use the orange slices in a floral arrangement I mean you could do so many things with these orange slices and not just for Christmas so I look forward to trying new things with it but yeah it's just something simple I've always wanted to do and so I'm happy I tried it and you will definitely be seeing some crafts made out of real orange slices which by the way you can decorate with cinnamon sticks or um, what is it star anise or cloves and you can make really pretty and nice smelling things with them so I just wanted you to see that you could have used twine also to hang them but this is what the tree looks like when I added the uh, cranberries, strung cranberries. And, and yeah, these cranberries actually aren't fully dry. So I'm going to let them dry through the season. And yeah, there's the orange slices. I just find them so magical. Uh, maybe because yellow is my favorite color, perhaps. I don't know. Or oranges also remind me of sunshine. And since it's kind of cold and gloomy here, I like seeing the slices of oranges. There's a few with some popcorn on it. <laughs> the popcorn that Mariam didn't finish eating. Since we're on the subject of trees, I wanted to show you my home office tree that you never saw because I still didn't do the home office tour yet, right? But anyway, here's the tree undecorated. And then this is before I put up all the ornaments. I wanted to make sure I had it light and airy and kind of whimsical with just white and pink and a little bit of blush. Add some lights and voila, this is what we have. I wanted it to look a little different. It had like, you know, some flowers, very girly, very, again, whimsical and light. And of course the girls needed to say hello. They're hiding underneath the tree. Well, actually they're not hiding. They're kind of hanging out with the yoga lady this figurine I have from Auntie Nina. So that's the tree. Which did you like better? The white one? Or do you like the kind of traditional old-fashioned vintage tree with all the dried fruit? Or do you prefer the kind of blinged out tree that I have in the family room? Which is your favorite, A, B, or C? Let me know. <laughs> I might do something more fun next year. Stylus, stylus, stylus. Let me not embarrass my son any further. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this vlog, the unboxing or boxing day, <laughs> and watching all the kids and my gifts and the cake decorating. I hope you really liked it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and here are some old pictures. Happy New Year again, and let's make this the best year ever, right? Best year ever. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your time. Look out for another vlog. I might share bits of Kenton's birthday, or we'll see. We'll see, but see you soon. Bye.